this row of stitching right here is a horizontal braid. It's also known as a vickle braid or a lateral braid. And essentially what you're doing is you're bringing your knitting stitches, those little V's, horizontal to your work and bringing them right around. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. To do this, you will need, if you're knitting in the round, you will need a tapestry needle and perhaps a pair of scissors depending on the type of yarn you're working with. So to get started, we need to add a stitch so that we can create the set of braiding that happens right underneath these this row. So I am going to make a stitch, and the easiest way to do this is to go in between the first and the second stitch and go ahead and bring a stitch right up and then put that onto your needle. So now instead of working with this newly made stitch, we're going to go back into the back loop of the first stitch and knit that stitch and leaving it on the needle because this first stitch is in our way. So we're gonna come back to the front and knit this front stitch through that front leg. Now we can go ahead and safely slide both of these stitches off the needle. Now we're gonna take this stitch and slide it back over. And we do wanna snug things up, get things a little bit snug. And again, we're gonna go back to this back stitch, knit through that back loop, bring this so that you can see that I'm splitting that stitch. I wanna be careful not to split that stitch. So there we go. And then coming back around, we are then going to knit that first stitch through the front loop, and then we can slide both off. Now we're gonna bring this front loop back over. We wanna go ahead and make that nice and snug. Okay, so once again, we'll do the same thing. Coming back over here to the second stitch, knitting through the back loop, A little tricky with the camera. <laughs> All right, we're gonna knit through this back loop. There we go. Knit through the back loop, coming around, and we'll knit through the front loop. Sliding both of those stitches off and bringing that first stitch back over to our work. Now, what you can start to see is that horizontal braid forming. Let's go ahead and continue a little further, going through that back loop. And I'm gonna see if I can get a more comfortable way to do that. Through that back loop, then bring it around to the front. Knit through the front loop. Slide both stitches off the needle and then bring this needle back over to our working needle. I mean this stitch back over to our working needle. We'll go back here to this back loop, knit through the back loop, knit through the front loop, Slide both off. Make sure I have all of this. I'm working on this little nine inch needle, which is nice because I can keep it all in the round. Slip him back over. Back through that back loop. Pulling that up. Over to our front loop. And I am trying to keep things a little bit snug. 
and slip those stitches off and bring him back over. Knit through the back loop. Coming around, knitting through the front loop. Taking them both off and bringing him back. Okay, and let's take a moment and look at what we have. This particular yarn splits very easily, but you can see that this, these horizontal stitches are starting to create that braid. So I'm gonna keep on going. Working through the back loop. Knitting, bringing it through the front loop, sliding both stitches off, and bringing this one back over. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to go ahead and knit all the way around my sock here, and then I want to show you how we can decrease that stitch that we added and keep the braid going uh, so that it has a seamless connection from this side to this side. Okay, so I am right here at the last stitch and you can see that I have the braid going all the way around. So the last stitch has been slipped over and I am going to Knit through that back loop. Then come back around and knit through the front loop. And slide both of these stitches off. Now, this stitch here, this one that we have been bringing over, let me just grab him. That stitch is really the next stitch in the braid as it goes across from one side to the other. So what we need to do now is get our tapestry needle out and I'm just gonna hold that kind of right there like that and get myself a little bit of extra tail. So I'm leaving about six inches of tail and I'm just gonna go ahead and break this. Now, I will probably spit slice this end back to the tail to continue uh, knitting the rest of the stock, the sock. But in the meantime, we wanna make this look pretty. We're gonna let this guy come off of the knitting needle and then come up through the stitch. And that's a good thing because that will hold it on there. And I'm gonna just let my tail be a little bit shorter there. Now I'm coming over here and this first stitch was sort of how we created, we made that stitch there. And this is really the first part of our braid. So I'm going to come up through both sides, the Vs of that stitch. See how, see how this V comes out from this V and this V comes from this V? We want this stitch to do the same thing. So we're gonna come up between those two and give that a pull. And you wanna be careful not to pull too hard because you do want things to look the same. Sorry, I'm twisting it on you. I should probably just keep it that way. Now we're gonna go back down through that loop. Does that make sense? There's that last loop that we just did. We came up, we came through this one. I'm gonna come back down into that one. And what that is going to do is allow us to complete that braid very nicely so that we have a nice finished braid. Let me get my needles up here 
take that off. And then we can kind of admire the work of that nice braid that goes all the way around that sock. It's pretty cool, right? So now my, my working piece is there and I'm gonna keep my stitch marker in place. Oops, goes over here. Now I could do one of two things. I could pick up my working yarn and start again, or I can do something called a spit slice which is when you take, and I won't show you completely because some people, <laughs> it's kind of a little bit gross. I say spit slice and I mean spit slice. We are going to use, you use your own saliva to be able to make the, um, the two pieces come together. So I'm just gonna untwist that a little bit. This will be where my connection is. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that. And now I have half of the work, that, half of the amount of wool there. And then on my other end, I'm going to unravel these two. And I think I have, I'll do it kind of in half here. And just unravel that about, I wanna do that about the same length as this other one was, a little bit further. And then we'll break that the same way. And now what you're going to do is drop just a little bit of saliva in your hand. I know you need to be near a sink. And then you're gonna take your two hands and just rub them together. Probably with a little bit of sweat, this will start to bring these pieces together. But you're gonna just go ahead Rub your hands together, and that is going to create a connection back to your wool. But I would use that saliva just to get these little sections all the way down and to make sure that your wool is completely connected. Do just a little bit more work right here. Let's see. Oh, well, that look, doesn't look so bad. Look over here, that's not looking so bad. So maybe we can just call this a sweat saliva, a sweat um, split. But it's just you wanna get that friction in your hands and that looks pretty good. So now I could just pick right up and go ahead and continue knitting my next row. That is how you make a connected horizontal braid seamlessly on the side here, and that turns out just really beautiful.